Hello, I'm Tom. In this video, I'm going to be continuing my adventure of converting up a orc commando squad. This time in focus. Sorry about the last one. I think I've found a much better setup that looks way cleaner. In the previous video, I converted the first five commandos plus a grot and set the theme. And in this video, I'm going to be completing the squad. So let's dive straight in. This first guy I want to be compatible for kill team. He's not super compatible with a big shooter in 40k, but in that case I'll just run him as a commando special shooter. For kill team he's basically the sniper guy. It says a scoped big shooter, and that's what I have there. A big shooter with a scope, and he has sort of a cool hat and a targeter on it. And I gave him a grot to assist him with his ammo needs. He has plenty of ammo on him. And on an extended mission, he can be an emergency ration. He of course has a chopper and whatnot. As in quite a few other conversions, I use the bullet belts to hide some seams and whatnot. And to add to the equipment aesthetic vibe. Here he is. I am quite happy with this guy. I think he fits the style just right. I also gave him a tactical off-center sight, a backup iron sight if his scope fails. It's very commando-y. And a pointy pose. I believe both the hat and the pointy arm are from the battle wagon kit. Or possibly the truck. Next up, this guy is both compatible with 40k and kill team. I decided to do a rocket launcher. What I'm showing here is the stock one that comes in the new boys kit, the monopose one. Since I have two of them, I'm going to be doing one just like it, but with my own twists, of course. So he's going to be having more ammo on him, as well as a different head. He's going to be smoking a cigar and gave him the faceplate. The head is from the Burners and Looters kit, and I especially love the cutout for the cigar. My thinking here is he has this face shield to protect him from the backblast of the rockets. He's a bit smarter than all the other rocket launcher guys because he's fired quite a few. And just like the other Monopos conversions, I feel I got away with this pretty cleanly. The silhouette is vastly different even though I only added some equipment and a different head. Quite satisfied with how he came out definitely get the vibe from from the squad that this is not their first battle they're not just mindless orcs with a chopper and a slugger running into to battle they're more cunning and calculated in their actions i feel like the models convey that anyway all right this guy is sort of a specialist strictly speaking he's not entirely compatible with 40k this is more of a kill team member but I think I'll be able to get away with it in 40k. So this guy is going to be a slasher boy from Kill Team. And his equipment is as follows. Twin choppers and throwing knives. And in 40k, I imagine the throwing knives will just be count as slugger. Like most orcs who probably not hit anything anyway. So it doesn't matter if he has a slugger or not. I did debate putting a slugger on there and cutting off the magazine. So it looked like he was just out of ammo with that. But... I opted not to do that in the end because he got fairly busy. So since he only has close combat weapons, I figured he should be running towards the enemy. And again, this gave me an opportunity to use the new kit because it has running poses. So I used this shooter boy as a base and did a fair bit of chopping on him. It was a bit of a challenge to get the pose to look natural with the bits that I had and the pose. And if he had a shirt on, this conversion would be easier to repose the arms, but since it's musculature, that it's it's harder to cut off an arm and glue it at a different angle without changing too much. But some things had to be filled in anyway, and I used a bit of sprue to do that. I used the head from a squig hog rider, like I did with one of the other team members, and I think it turned out pretty well. It looks like he's running at you and mid-swing with one of them, and he has plenty of other knives and choppers to use as backup weapons. And as an homage to the kill team, unique sculpt, he got a knife in his mouth that is from a Imperial Guard kit, and then some sheath knives on his legs as other throwing knives. I also really liked how he turned out, and again, very different from the original pose 
of the running shooter boy. So no duplicates so far, which I'm very happy with. So this guy will also be compatible for both Kill Team and 40k. And in Kill Team, he'll be a Daka boy with a Daka shooter. And in Kill Team, he'll have a Commando special shooter. What I really wanted to use was a custom shooter, but all of the ones I had were on metal arms and already attached to some, and I didn't want to change those up since in 10th edition I can use them again, and they couldn't in 9th. Anyway, um, so I decided to make my own. I used this knob slugger arm that has twin barrels. It looks a bit too puny, so I'm going to extend it and also give it a magazine per barrel. What I did here was use a arm from the knobs. I'm going to be using the rest of the slugger later on. I chopped off the barrels and the hand for a different pose. And I'm going to be extending it and reattaching the barrel and putting on some crosshairs, of course. I toyed with turning the uh, other magazine upside down, sort of feeding both from top and bottom, but crosshairs would be hard to put on there. I also toyed with the idea of a scope, but I left it off in favor of some crosshairs, but giving him some fancier ones than the standard boys. So I just used an arm from a different slugger. And I used a arm where he's sort of shaking angrily at someone. Or, you know, that tactical thing where you do with your arm. You're like, pull it down, you like, breach the room kind of vibe. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. And he got a, a head with some goggles on it and a load of spare magazines. He looks very special forces for an orc, in my opinion. Again, very happy with how he turned out. It's hard to pick a favorite, but he's among them for this squad. I especially like how the shooter came out. It is better than I hoped it would be. It also sort of gave me some MP5K vibes, especially before I put on the, the barrels. And you can see here, you can actually aim with the sights, the, uh, the screws align which I thought was pretty cool. I end up actually accidentally breaking one of them off and flipping them, but it still works after I reattached it. Very cool, dude. And finally, to wrap up the squad, let's make the leader of this squad. I want to make sure that he is compatible for both 40k and kill team. So he'll be getting a power claw and a slugger. I'm using the... Uh, Orc knob body from the new monopose guys. You can see an example of him here in an assembled state. Later on, or perhaps the next video, depending on how long this one will be, you will see this guy dismantled again, but made into something way better, in my opinion. But for this segment, he serves as a reference of how he is being converted from the original state. And of course, the theme continues. And in this case, I thought he'd be mental enough to have a grenade in his mouth, just like it's, it's ready to be thrown or something like that. He's a bit off, right? But he's still an orc. What I did here is, of course, I ended up using none of the original arms, even though the original also has a power claw. So I didn't attach the arms and I needed to plug the holes so there was something to attach the new arms to. And I simply did that with a piece of sprue that I cut to size and glued on. The arms are from probably knob kits or the old boys kits, the knob from there. And then he has a backpack with an ammo grot as well. Here he is, fancy crosshairs as the others, even though I decided to change it up on this guy just to make him stand out a little bit more. As you can see here, he is quite different from the original monopose. I think I got away with another good conversion there. The old knob arms are perhaps a little bit too skinny compared to the new ones, but it works perfectly for my needs anyway. Maybe he just skipped arm day or something. Here we are, last five members of the commando squad. It's not to say I won't make any more specialists or just guys that I can substitute in if I don't want the special weapons, but since it's three in 40k, then <laughs> why not? Yeah, might add to it if I eventually get more orcs, but once I'm done with Orktober, I have no more bodies or miniatures left to convert from and to. That's the plan anyway. Overall, I really like this project. I think the Commando Squad turned out 
a lot better than I had imagined it would in my head before I started it. I think every guy is unique, every guy fits the theme that I'm going with, and once I paint them up they'll look very cohesive, I think. And here we are with all of the guys that I've made for this squad. I think if nothing else they will make for a very fine kill team that I have to try at least once. So before I've edited all of this it seems like the video is long enough for what it is and to keep it on theme I'm going to end it here so it's just the commando squad part two. I should also be able to get it out quicker. What I'll do is a follow-up video should be coming relatively shortly because I'm editing it at the same time as this and doing the voiceover. That video will feature some character conversions, some conversions of squad members to bulk out existing squads, fixing some issues with some loadouts or some broken models, and also making sure I have no duplicates of the monopose kits. So there's actually a bunch of subtle conversions that were fairly easy to do once I've had the experience with the kit and the commando squad. I think that was a long enough outro You've probably seen some teaser shots of what's going to happen in that video. And if you want to watch that, it should be up relatively shortly after this one. If you made it all the way to the end, I want to thank you. And I hope to see you in another video. Cheers.